particular session, we will learn how to send email using HTML template in Gmail. Clear? First of all, I will give you a recap of this video. In this video, we will learn this uh, form will be opened first that has six information. You have to fill all of this information and when you click on send email, email is sent to in a particular email address and email will look like this one. Clear? You can see this email contains a bold font like table structure and well defined uh, applied CSS. So uh, you had seen many emails like Paytm or Amazon or Snapdeal. All of these emails are well maintained, all have well CSS and etc. All of these are done using HTML template, HTML email template. You can add your images, custom hyperlinks, apply many CSS of it. Clear? Now, let's see a demo of code. Uh, you don't need to write any code on your notebook. I will provide a link to download a code. Clear? Now, a very if you don't watch my first video, how to send email using Gmail, first watch it and then watch this video so you can get a better idea how to set a configuration setting in web.config file. I have mentioned all of those settings in my previous video. So watch first that video and then watch this one video. Clear? Now let's see a code. I will give you a basic idea first. First you have to set your web.config file. How to set up this config file uh, to watch all of these things. We watch my previous video. Clear? Then, now we are moving forward to our ASPX page. I have created a page of send mail in um, that I have taken six text boxes and one button of send mail. Clear? Now, to create HTML template, I have taken one HTML file. How to create HTML file? Uh, add new item and then click on HTML page here and you can add HTML file clear ok now in HTML file whatever you design you want to add in your email body you will do all of these things first header that is employee information and then I have picked one table structure first name, last name, date of birth, uh, position, designation etc. Clear? And in another TV tag I have took a curly braces and took one define one variable f name, lm, dob, post, designation. I Why I have to write all of these things in curly braces I will explain you in next code that is in code behind. On button submit click I have written a function to send email. Clear? Uh, this function is well explained in my previous video. So watch it first. Then I have created a body using a HTML. Now I will explain you why I have written, written curly braces in the HTML page. First of all what I have to do I have uh, defined a body variable here. Then, using trim reader, I will write, I, I will read a HTML file. I have read from server.map path and give your HTML file name. Clear? Uh, then, body is equal to reader.read to end means uh, this function will read my HTML till end. Clear? Then, it will replace this curly braces to the text which I have submitted in the form clear it will be replacing the parameters clear similarly all the parameters are replaced here in HTML clear uh, all HTML parameters are replaced by using this function so uh, body is created here and then all of this all this function is similar to my previous video clear now uh, let's debug a code and explain you step by step. I am writing 
gmail.com date of birth designation this designation now I will click on send mail you can see email subject email body I will go back email body string body it will read till end you can see a basic body I got all of this as a string format from here clear you had seen all of this thing clear now it will replace first name as Ruvin last name as Shah date of birth is equal to 12 0 1 1994 post as software developer and designation as and written body in body text I will I removed all the curly braces and get all the values that I want to send in mail clear and one more thing now you must have to write this line it is a very important for this video is H is body HTML is equal to true if you don't write this line what will happen it will uh, show HTML code in your mail body part clear uh, you can try it at your home you write it false and send mail then what will happen it will uh, write all HTML code as a part of your body clear so this line is very important then SMTP client SMTP host enable SSL network credential port number 37 uh, send mail and it will depend upon your internet connectivity if you are not connected with your internet you can get error from this function clear now email is successfully sent now let's check whether I have received an email or not let's check employee information detail that we have mentioned in a subject Dhruvin Shah 1994 software developer as developer clear uh, now if you have any doubt related this HTML template video you can mail me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com for uh, what's daily whatsapp update uh, you can go our channel homepage and I have uh, created one link to join a group uh, just fill your information in it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much